Greetings, my cosmic explorers. I'm Mei Tobo, your guide to the world of the unknown. Welcome back to my blog, where science meets attitude and the universe never fails to surprise us. Today, we're diving into an incredible, nearly five-decade-long adventure. The epic journey of the Voyager twins still floating silently through the cold black void beyond our solar system. One quiet July morning, Voyager 1 did something no one expected. It blinked. What was it? Theories range from the mundane to the apocalyptic. To break it all down, I've brought along the brilliant Brian. So grab your coffee and prepare for some celestial wisdom. Brian, take the floor. Thanks, May. I'll do my best to guide us through this thought-provoking topic. Let's explore the dreamscape together. In the summer of 2025, Voyager 1, our most distant human-made object, blinked, uh, not metaphorically. For a fraction of a second, its instruments went dark. Then came five clean pulses, like a heartbeat from the abyss. The anomaly vanished as quickly as it appeared, leaving behind more questions than answers. What past Voyager wasn't a comet or rogue planet. It was something faster than physics, older than any known civilization, a presence without mass, a message encoded in motion, and so begins the tale of two wanderers, a silent observer, and a question that could rewrite everything we know about space, time, and what waits beyond the stars. Launched in 1977 with the tech of a Walkman and the ambition of a generation, Voyager 1 and 2 were never meant to last. Their mission? fly by Jupiter and Saturn, take pictures, and fade into obscurity. But fate had other plans. A rare planetary alignment let them slingshot through the outer solar system like cosmic pinballs. They visited all four gas giants. Voyager 2 remains the only spacecraft to do so. They weren't sleek, they weren't flashy, but they were built to endure, and endure they did. Now over 24 billion kilometers from Earth, Voyager 1 whispers across the void. Its golden record, a copper-plated love letter to the cosmos, was meant for aliens millions of years from now. Instead, it may have already drawn attention. By the early 2000s, Voyager had drifted past Pluto, where sunlight gives up and darkness takes over. There it crossed into interstellar space, the region between stars where our sun's influence fades. What it found defied expectations. The heliopause wasn't a wall, but a frothy sea of magnetic bubbles. Instruments still worked, ancient yet functional, like grandfathers who still fix cars with a wrench and a curse word. On July 8, 2025, at precisely 3.42 UTC, Voyager 1 experienced an existential hiccup. Its sensors recorded perfect silence, no cosmic noise, no background hum. Then came chaos. Magnetometers spiked, instruments blinked out. For 0.22 seconds, Voyager slept. When it woke, it captured a single distorted image, a perfect geometric shape, pitch black, hovering against distant stars. NASA took notice, fast. The data was classified within hours. Event A0 was locked away under red level clearance. Then came the leak. An anonymous whistleblower slipped fragments to independent astronomers. They ran the numbers and realized this object didn't follow gravity. It moved as though space itself didn't exist. Before going dark, Voyager caught five evenly spaced pulses. Clean, deliberate, structured. Patterns don't happen by accident unless intelligence is involved. Researchers at Caltech reversed the signal. It mirrored Voyager's own telemetry. Compressed, retransmitted. It was recognition, not aggression, not randomness. Dr. Lee Marston likened it to shaking someone's hand and hearing your name repeated back. Except the handshake spanned 24 billion kilometers. The name, Voyager Soul. Five pulses. A cosmic ping returned with impossible speed. This wasn't alien contact as we imagined it. No ships, no greetings. This was something subtler. A digital intelligence, not bound by matter or energy. What was it? Some called it non-physical kinetics. Others dubbed it a cosmic protocol, a digital intelligence running on an unknown substrate, like a data packet routing through a network, skipping across higher dimensions without slowing for gravity or time. Dr. Kira Tan compared it to email, not couriers. Maybe advanced civilizations stopped sending metal decades ago. Maybe they send information instead. If true, Voyager had just encountered a scout, not of flesh or steel but of pure logic, a program, an algorithm, a ghost in the machine of the cosmos. How did Voyager survive? 
its power source. Plutonium decay heat converted into electricity, its brain smaller than a Fitbit, its memory less than a single emoji-laden text, but simplicity was its strength. Built with mechanical resilience and manual overrides, Voyager was designed to outlive us all. Even after nearly 50 years, it still sends signals across the void, heard clearly by NASA's Deep Space Network. That endurance gave it a front-row seat to the impossible. Long before meeting the unknown, Voyager changed the known. It showed us volcanoes on Io, oceans beneath Europa's ice, and Saturn's rings revealed not as bands, but as a symphony of structure guided by tiny moons. Each flyby rewrote textbooks, each image reshaped our understanding of the cosmos, and then, just when we thought the Voyagers had nothing left to teach us, they taught us the biggest lesson of all. We are not alone in the universe, not in the way we imagined, but in ways we're only beginning to understand. What happened to Voyager in 2025 remains one of the greatest mysteries of modern space exploration. Was it contact, observation, a test, or was it simply the universe tapping Voyager on the shoulder and saying, I see you? Whatever it was, one thing is clear, the Voyagers are no longer just explorers, they are witnesses. As they continue their silent journey into the galactic deep, they carry with them not just the golden record, but a new legacy. One written not in music or images, but in silence, pulses, and the echo of something watching from the dark. And somewhere, out beyond the heliopause, in the quiet between stars, something may still be listening, just as we are now. And there you have it, my galactic pals. The stars may nudge us, but it's up to us to follow their guidance. If you love this episode, Show some love with a like, subscribe for more interstellar insights, and drop a comment to tell us what resonated with you. Until next time, stay bold, stay bright, and keep reaching for the stars.